Hello, 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 and welcome back. We have another couple of betas out this week as summer is coming to a close. That means today we have iPadOS 18 beta 8 and iPadOS 18.1 beta 3. So let's start with iPadOS 18, because just like the last beta, and honestly the last couple of betas before that, there's not really any new feature changes here. Basically, these releases have been bug fixes, which is why I didn't even do one for Beta 7, because there's no new features. And these have been bug fixes as Apple is getting iPadOS 18 ready for the launch in September. So that makes sense. We're not going to see a lot of new features here. That being said, iPadOS 18 hasn't been particularly unstable. So, you know, I can't even say it's getting more stable. It just it feels it feels ready to go to me, at least um, for the things I've been using this device for. We have the September iPhone event, which was just launched, which wouldn't be that interesting, except for now there are rumors that we may see an update to our beloved iPad mini at this event. So that's pretty exciting. We'll keep an eye open for that. But that's really all there is to say on iPad OS 18. It's really starting to come along, at least for me. And I'm looking forward to getting it on my primary iPad in a few weeks when the release candidate comes out. So now let's jump to iPad OS 18.1, where things get a little more interesting. As you know, the 18.1 branch is where the Apple Intelligence features are, the first features that are going to launch in beta this fall. And those are mostly around the writing tools to this point, the various proofreading and rewriting capabilities. In beta 3, we get a couple of improvements. First, we get the expansion of the not notification summary feature which to this point has only worked for the Messages app and for the Mail app. So what I've read is that it's working for quote unquote all apps now. So far, I've only seen the addition of Apple Wallet in terms of apps that this is working for. But supposedly, you know, all notifications from all apps will now get summarized. I'm not seeing that quite yet, but we'll keep an eye on that. The second new addition is in the Photos app, and that's the addition of the cleanup feature which if you're familiar with, I believe it's called Magic Eraser in Google Photos, then you know what this feature is. So what we're going to do is try to use this new cleanup feature in this photo here to try to remove my beloved Surface Duo, which I loved and is still, I feel like, the best form factor for a folding slash dual screen phone. We're going to see if we can take that out. So how do we start? Let's go into the edit menu here at the bottom. And then we have a new option uh, on the left-hand panel here called Cleanup. I'm going to tap that. brings me to the Cleanup UI. And it tells me to tap, brush, or circle what I want to remove. Since I have my Apple Pencil here, I'm going to try circling it. So go ahead and give that a bit of a circle. Future thinks for a minute. OK. And it looks like it just took out the edges, like the shadow around it. Let me give it a second try here. Boom, it's gone. That is actually much more impressive <laughs> the second time around. You see in the corner here, we've got this glowing area, which is, I think, Apple Intelligence telling me the areas it thinks I may want to remove. Not sure. Let's go a little bit crazier here, and let's see if we can remove the mouse. Oof. Okay, well, it removed the mouse. Not sure what's going on here with this green splotch, but easy enough to get rid of. It's not perfect, but for my needs, um, this is actually more than enough. I'm able to hit done here when I'm done, and there's a big reset button here that persists even after you edit, you come out of the edit mode. So if I really wanted to, I could revert all of these changes back. I don't in this case. So supposedly, if you try to apply the cleanup effect to a face, it'll blur it out. So let's see what that does. I'm going to just really give it to the face here. Just, let's do that. See what happens. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. In a way. Um. I wonder if I try one of the dogs. <laughs> Just erased his eye. It's kind of funny and scary, I guess. 
Anyway, or for people at least, that's kind of cool. I'm not mad at that. And as something of a bonus, because I'm not 100% sure these weren't in beta 1 and I just forgot to cover them, these are some of the onboarding screens I got when I upgraded to beta 3, and they just kind of summarize the Apple intelligence features that are available and the improvements to Siri. So just in case you haven't seen them, here they are. Sorry for the poor quality. And folks, I think that's really going to do it for this one. Short and sweet. Not a lot to talk about here, so we'll keep covering betas as they come out until the final iPad OS 18 and 18.1 releases are out, but it's going to do it for this. Again, we've got the iPhone event coming up in a couple weeks that will hopefully bring us a new iPad mini, so fingers crossed for that. And if you're excited for a new iPad mini, leave a comment and let me know what you would like to see in that new device, because it's way overdue for an update. So with that, thank you for watching this video. If you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. That would help me and the channel out a bunch. Make sure to follow me on social media at SlatePad. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care now.